Okay, Duck TV people, this is just going to be a brief walkthrough on how to check out a camera for a game coverage. Now, ideally, you are checking this camera out as soon as you know you need it, especially if it's over the weekend. I am going to pretend that I have a game coverage over the weekend, and I'm going to check something out from Friday to Monday. I'm going to walk you through how to do that. You start by going to Web Checkout. Now, it has a URL, but what I gets you here that's where you want to be again right here the first one web checkout University of Oregon boom now you're here here's where you just put in your canvas information log in as if you were logging into canvas I'm going to do that and now we're in the center so this is for if you're trying to reserve a space in the SOJC a meeting room but equipment is where you want to be so equipment reservations and here we are I don't have access to the Duck TV stuff yet. There should be a tab here saying allocated, I believe, that gives you access to our Duck TV cameras, but you will always have access over here to multimedia, which pretty much gives you access to everything in the J School anyway. Clicking on multimedia, audio and cameras is where you want to be. Start with cameras. We don't have actually the brand new cameras. We do have the HMC40. Again, under Duck TV is where the fancy cameras that we have. I forgot the XFs, the XFs, that's where they're going to be. Um, they should be made available to you. If not, either check out an HMC. I would say make a reservation for an HMC to be safe and then talk to us and we'll talk about if there's a way we can get you the better camera. Unfortunately, for me, I can't show you the allocated section right now, but I'm just going to pretend that I wanted to check out an HMC40. There it is right there. Um, so we got to cameras. We're going to click there on the HMC40. Now, we want to see the availability. There's four cameras that I can check out, but we want to see the availability for it. So we're going to click on this clock up here. This is where you go look at where you can have cameras. There, as you can see, on Tuesday the 21st, they're reserved from 9 to 4. So that's showing you what's already checked out and what you can't uh, check out. So we're going to scroll all the way down. I'm just going to make sure the weekend's open. And yes, indeed, there it is. The weekend that I want is open, January 24th. And as you can see, there's these white blocks here. These are the windows when you can actually check out. The J-Cage opens at 9. It closes at 6, and they have a quick break from 1 to 2. So you have to check out your camera before 6 p.m., otherwise you're in trouble. And be aware of that uh, break period as well if you're trying to return a camera. So now we know that all of these ones are available, but if there were ones checked out, then you'd be able to look at the schedule and say, okay, 32 is the one I want to check out. So here we go. Uh, let's say 32 is the one I want. So we're going to click Add, and now it's in my cart. Now, with the XFs, you are going to have automatically a lav mic, but not a hand mic. If you're going to a game coverage, I highly recommend getting a hand mic, although it's okay to use a lav mic as well. And if you're confident using a lav mic, you can have that for your game coverage, and you can totally forget about the hand mic. But I will say... Um, for some sports, post-game interviews, you absolutely need a hand mic. Depends on the sport. Most of the time, you just want to have one in addition to your lav. So the XF comes automatically with a lav, but you have to check out the hand mic separately. The HMC40, you have to check out both separately. You need to get a hand mic and a lav mic. We're going to do that right now. We're going to go back to multimedia, and we're going to go to audio now. We're going to go look at mics right here. And we have the handheld mic right here, and the lav mic over here. So we're going to start with the lav. I'm going to click and just see which ones are available. As we can see, again, weekend is all free, so let's just pick number five and add that. Boom, we've got a lav. Now we're going to go back to mics, and we're going to grab a hand mic, and we're going to look at the schedule. Ooh, a lot of hand mics being checked out there, but then over the weekend, again, free, so we can take anyone we want. We'll take number 18. So now we've got my cart fold. Um, we've got the camera and both mics. The camera already comes with a tripod, so you don't have to worry about that. If you are doing a game that would benefit from a monopod, which is incredibly rare, just remember to check that out. But most of the time, you're all good with these three. And when we're checking out the new cameras, you're only going to need an HMC and a hand mic. You don't even have to worry about the lav because they just give you one all the time. 
So we have everything here. We have everything we want. We've added to the cart. Create reservation. Now, this is important. This is when you have to set your time frames. We're going to go and go on the calendar and say I'm checking this out on Friday. We're going to go say I'm returning it on Monday. You can't return it over the weekend, so I'm returning it on Monday the 27th. And time. Uh, give yourself, you make sure it's a time that you can make. Um, if you're late by a few minutes, it is canceled. Um, so just make sure it's a time that you're confident you can make. So I'm just going to give myself 11.30. 11.30 a.m. Boom, there it is. When I'm going to return it, even if I wanted to return it at 10 a.m., and even if I thought I could return it at 10 a.m., sometimes they'll charge you fees if you're just a few minutes late or if you're 20 minutes late to return something. So always just give yourself a big buffer on when to return it. So even if I planned on returning it in the morning, just in case something went wrong, and just in case I'm a few minutes late, I'm just going to say 2.05 p.m. I'm going to say that at 2.05 p.m. is actually when my return date is. And you can return it anytime you want before then. So just give yourself plenty of wiggle room. Maybe even go all the way to 6. I mean, 6 is when it closes. If you want to just give yourself all the way to 6 p.m. and do that, go for that. I mean, you give yourself the maximum possible time there. So there's your reservation. Um, and I'm going to accept the terms and conditions, and now you have errors. And this is going to tell you if there's something wrong. It'll tell you if the, if the camera's already checked out or if something else is wrong about it. And it says minimal interval between center close and return. That means that it's saying everything needs to be returned 15 minutes before they close because they want to be able to put it away and charge the batteries and do everything before it closes. So you can't return it at 6 p.m. sharp. So I'm just going to change mine to 540. So now that I changed mine to 540, my error goes away. So you can always check out these errors and see if there's anything you did wrong. Everything's good. I've done my reservation. I'm going to submit. And there it is. My reservation's confirmed. Now, at any time, if you want to view your reservations, you can only do a maximum of two at any given time. So you can't do three reservations at the same time on your account. Um, if at any time I want to see what my reservations are, I just click here. Or am I doing that wrong? No, I go over here and I say home. And never mind, I go to my account. That's where I want to be. So I'm at my account. It's got my history of everything I've checked out in the past. And boom, right here is my current reservation. If you ever want to make any changes to it, you go here and you go to my account and you can see what you've already got reserved. And I can click here and I can edit it. I can drop something. I can add something. I can change the times or I think you can change the times. I'm not sure if you can really push back your return time, but if you ever wanted to try and make any edits, you go do that there. Again, going back to my account, if you want to cancel it, I'm not actually going to be needing this camera, so I'm just going to flat out cancel this reservation now that I've made it. Boom, cancel, cancel, no problem. You can cancel reservations anytime you want. It's not like you get penalized for it. So boom, there you go. I made a reservation. I canceled it. Pretty straightforward. I believe in y'all. You're going to get through this. Um, have a wonderful day and have a wonderful time doing whatever it is.